Hello guys and welcome back to Topsy TV. Juliana Ferret was a significant force in her husband's life and constantly stood by his side as he became famous for being an organized crime boss and author and a movie consultant her life changed. In 2007, her husband's life was a subject of the movie American Gangster which was nominated for two Oscars and three Golden Globes among others but won the Empire and Satellite Awards. This is a very little information about Juliana before she met her husband but she was born in Puerto Rico around 941 and lived a relatively anonymous life. She was a beautiful country girl with simple tastes. Her husband revealed that there was nothing fabulous about her as she wore basic boring clothes and did not have excellent quality as they came from different words he had to fix her up to look the part of his wife. Juliana and Frank met when they boarded the same plane. They were both in the first class section of the plane headed for New York. He had noticed her when she walked down the aisle to take her seat and she, he said she smiled at him. He noticed that she was cute and always had a smile whenever he turned to admire her. Her husband took that as a hint to start a conversation as the seat bell sign went off and he was glad he did as the attraction was mutual. On January 28, 1975, the NYPD DEA strike force carried out a surprise raid in Frank Stenick, New Jersey house and in Julia's panic she reportedly screamed take it all take it all while screaming she threw several suitcases with her over half a million dollars belonging to her husband out of the window they consider her actions a crime for which she earned a six months jail sentence they also arrested her husband after she was released. There were reports that she was cooperating with the authorities in prison. These reports which she denied put their family in danger. The authorities had to protect Frank's family by putting Juliana, Francine, Francine and his son from another relationship in the Federal Witness Protection Program for a year in uh, New, York, New Mexico. In 2010, Juliana was caught breaking the law again in her 70s. The police had arrested her for trying to sell cocaine at a hotel in Puerto Rico. The court charged her with the conspiracy to violate narcotics law as there was a recorded conversation where she allegedly told an informant she had drugs to sell. She once revealed that she has always attracted to danger, mistaking trips and miss owing expenses things. She believed that money was essential and could buy happiness. Frank Lucas died at 88 on May 13, uh, 2019. His nephew, Old Van Lassister, Lassister, confirmed his death, revealing in a phone interview that he died of natural causes. Despite reports stating that Juliana died before her husband and one of his son's pictures showed her saying goodbye to him at his funeral. What are your thoughts? Tell us in the comment section below. I hope you like the video. Subscribe and thanks for watching.